about the various types of educational research types of educational research various types of educational research various types of educational research there are mainly hmm. well students now we discuss the types of educational research educational research mainly three types first one is basic or fundamental basic or fundamental basic or fundamental research next one is applied research applied education research last one is action research action research our our study of matter is action research that is that is the unit 5 of your paper third action research now we shall discuss all about action research first of all meaning of we previous in our previous we will discuss all about to meaning of research meaning of educational research that is same as action research so in this section there may be first question arise the question one question what what is action research what is action research what is action research discuss the discuss the need and importance of importance of action research this is long questions this with 15 marks what is action research discuss the need and scope of action research then first go through meaning of this action research meaning meaning of action research action research is a method of improving and modifying the working system of a classroom and a school but action research it is a method of improving and modifying changing modifying working system of a classroom and a school the teachers and principals who are deals with the school improvement and school research the teachers and the principals are able to study their problems of teaching scientifically it is an objective oriented method but action research is an objective oriented method the action research project does not contribute to the fund of knowledge but it improves and modifies the current practices in the field of education learning and teaching various researchers define action research in the following way first stephen m core stephen m core define action research according to him action research refers to the process action research refers to the process by which the practitioners may be teacher may be principal may be student attempt to study their problems scientifically in order to guide correct and evaluate their decisions and actions another psychologist john w best according to him action research is focused action research is focused on the 
immediate application not on the development of theory it has placed its emphasis on a real problem here and now in a local setting another definitions given by r mukherji r mukherji according to r mukherji action research is an interactive process what action research is an interactive process related to an ongoing activity by the participants another definitions given by m r goodson according to m r goodson action research is the name of a process what action research is the name of a process intended to or aimed to improve action systematically another definitions given by garthet garthet and others according to them action research is organized investigative activity aim towards the study and a constructive chance of given and ever by individuals or groups concerned with such change and a improvement from the above definitions given by various researchers we now conclude that what action research is first of all action research first of all action research is is a branch of is a branch of educational research educational educational research which which deals which deals with the which deals with the problems which deals with the problems solutions problems solutions of the educational educational of the educational settings educational settings action research is a branch of educational research which deals with problems solutions of the educational settings in this in this the the stakeholders the stakeholders the stakeholders may be may be teacher may be teacher students may be teacher students her masters her masters tech tech research tech research in an action mode in an action mode to solve their day to day school education teaching and learning problems inquire them solve them and came out to a proper solutions or a generalizations these are the meaning of action research <coughs> well now this is the meaning of action research now next our topic is need and importance of action research need and importance need and the importance of action research need importance of action research
तो फर्स्ट नीड एक्शन रिसर्च वर्क ऑन राइट ऑन एक्शन रिसर्च वर्क ऑन साइंटिफिक साइंटिफिक एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव लाइंस ऑब्जेक्टिव लाइंस लाइक एजुकेशन रिसर्च एक्शन रिसर्च ऑल्सो बेस्ट ऑन और वर्क ऑन साइंटिफिक एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव लाइंस इट डील्स विथ इट स्टडी द प्रॉब्लम्स इन ए साइंटिफिक एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव लाइंस पॉइंट टू डिजर्वेबल डिजर्वेबल रिफॉर्म्स डिजर्वेबल रिफॉर्म्स इन द सिस्टम But desirable reforms in the system. Action research brings desirable reforms in the system means in the system of education, in the system of teaching, in the system of learning, etc. Point four: Solutions easy to comprehend. Solutions easy to Comprehend, but action research. The researchers uh, find out the solutions, which is easy to comprehend, easy to understand, uh, in the field of uh, students. Four, suitable to implement uh, research findings. Suitable to implement. Suitable to implement research findings. Suitable to implement research findings. The findings come out in the way of education research or action research that are suitable to implement in various fields. Point five. A reassurance to teachers. A reassurance. A reassurance to teachers. That means the findings of research are suitable for various grade teachers, various of types of teachers to solve their day-to-day -day problems, which are just. In their day-to-day -day classroom settings. Point of six insight into insight into insight into nature of education problems. Nature of educational problems. Inside the findings are uh, come out to due, 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 due to the action research uh, may be helpful to solve out the various educational problems. All are about the need and the importance of uh, action research. Along this. The question first. First question is finished. Then we talk about the second question. This first question is what is action research and what are the need and the importance of action research. Our next topic is question two. Our next topic is first question what is research. What are the meaning, nature, scope, and the cats of education research? I have already discussed in the first attempt. Next question two. Next question three. Explain the steps of a. Uh, explain the steps or uh, procedures of action research. What are the steps? What are the steps or procedures? Procedures of 
action research what are the steps or a procedures of action research when we investigate action research do action research or implement action research what are the steps or procedure we should do deals with what are the steps or the procedures of action research now there are various process or steps of action research whereas these are the most important and suitable steps of action research step 1 step 1 locating the problem area locating the problem area locating the problems area point 2 identify the problem identify the problem point third analyze the problem to define anal analysis of analysis of the problems point step four diagnose or detect diagnosis of diagnosis of the factors of the factors causing causing the problem what are the problems what are the what are the cause that create the problem on step 1 is locating the problem area step 2 identify the problem step 3 analysis of the problems step 4 dance of the factors causing the problem step 5 step 5 formulate the action hypothesis formulate formulate the action hypothesis hypothesis means tentative problems tentative tentative problems step 6 step 6 research design research design formulate research design formulate research formulate research design point 7 point 7 testing the testing the action hypothesis step 8 evaluate the results evaluate the results and and set out and set out the general ideas well students these are the eight steps well students these are the eight steps or procedures of action research again i shall discuss one by one the following steps of steps of procedures or steps are involved in a action research which is carried out by the teachers principals headmasters administrators supervisors or the student himself before going to do action research the researchers follow one by one step step one again 
I speak about locating the problem area. First of all, the researchers or action researchers look at the problem area which deals in the classroom teaching learning situation. First of all, look at or identify which problem he should or she should take to, to proceed in the action research. Point two, identify the problems. There are so many areas of uh, educational action research area. Among them, identify the particular problem. For example, the problem may be identified as class 8 students are not showing good progress in English. In English teaching, English is a hard subject in Indian situations. So we should do identify the problems in English teaching such as class 8 students are not showing good progress in English. So first locating area, English teaching area. Among the English teaching area, our particular problem is why class 8 students are not showing good progress in English. Step 1, locating the problem area. Step 2, identify the problem. Now step 3, analysis of the problem to define and delimit. Why? Analysis, step by step, create many collection of data. Analysis means collection of data. Or analysis means divide the problems into some, some parts, some, some smaller area. So last step is analysis of the problem to define and the delimit. For example, the problem stated above may be due to class or eight students commit many spelling errors. There are so many weakness, so many weakness, so many problems uh, are responsible for good progress in English. Among them, one, not spelling errors. There are so many students who make spelling errors in English. So this is the main problem. Next step four, diagnose the factors causing the problem. What are the factors causing the problems of a slow progress in class 80 students? The problem may be, the probable causes for the above problem may be listed. One, students are careless in routine work. No students are careful about routine work. Point two, students are not careful observant. What this teacher taught in the classroom, students are not attentively look at this teacher's teaching. Point third, teacher of English does not check students' routine work. There are so many students uh, reading in uh, school, so teacher has no time briefly, detailedly, thoroughly correct the students' written work. Fourth problem may be teacher of English does not uh, follow, does not, uh, does not uh, do follow-up work after teaching whether students understand or not. The teacher does not follow up this. Next, step 5, formulate the action hypothesis. Hypothesis, what are the tentative causes? What are the tentative causes? What are the tentative factors that are responsible for slow progress of, slow progress of English of class of 8? Next, step 6. The action researcher now design the research design to test the hypothesis. What is this? Now after the teacher researcher has finalized the action hypothesis, find out the tentative causes, the research design, what type of design, what type of method, what type of technique he should adopt to study the following problems. The following aspects are Description of activities and procedures for getting evidence or collecting data. Collection of data. Point two, 
an outline of source tools or means of execute the design how to function this design point third time required finalize the action and the complete procedures how many in which time in how many times he should do complete or finish the action research next step 7 testing the action hypothesis the hypothesis previously we take now test the hypothesis which is mostly which is suitably responsible for the slow progress of english learn the next step is to test the action hypothesis in case of the problem stand is done stated done the teacher may <coughs> examine people's exercise books teacher may be after his teaching learning examine teacher or students exercise books whether they write pronoun spelling the english well or not give written test after the teaching is over learning is over the teacher must give written test to the students last find out ability through spelling games there are so many spelling games in english language teaching so the teacher should give them various types of spelling games last step is evaluate the results to determine how far the goal of education research hypothesis are realized if it is revealed that or so that the results are positive the hypothesis is accepted if we if the researcher see that the results find out to are positive then the hypothesis is accepted otherwise if it shows the negative consequence one may require formulate the new hypothesis and repeat the steps from step 1 to step 8 again and again till till he or she getting the positive results